Hello and welcome everybody into another episode of the progress of the death knight Well, we managed to have my first tier 22 weapon I never was able ever to have a, such a weapon tier And it took me quite a lot of farming A lot of pvp battles and a lot of dying um, So, I wanted to announce that this is going to be the last episode for the death knight I am no longer planning to play with it just because I don't want to play with it anymore and yeah what I feel and what I think so far for the death knight class level 255 all abilities and in server in general I think if you wanted to try something new and have a ton of fun uh, definitely this is the server to actually uh, farm and experience new ex new uh, new progression into uh, one of the most craziest game out there uh, so definitely I was having a ton of fun and definitely in the future if I'm continuously playing in ultimate uh, unlimited wall uh, definitely will uh, try another class so yeah guys um, you're just going to see my strategy for PvP farming honor farming in more uh, uh, correct and enjoy the video Alrighty guys, we have tier 22 weapon and to be completely honest I expect a lot more bonus damage but we increase it with 1 million I mean I'm grateful for that 1 million and definitely it's gonna make differences but I expect 5 millions at least on top of it but um, yeah, we just uh, have a little bit of a break it took me a couple of... Uh, kind of a lot of time to receive 550,000 honor but we definitely did it so let's go some uh, battlegrounds. Let's have some fun. If uh, dying multiple times, it's fun, right? So I'm just gonna show you some one of my strategies how to farm Honor, because um, you can't possibly make a lot when you're like with that type of gear, with that much of HP, and that does not a lot of resilience it's not like working all the time but the most important thing is to play with your team uh, you always need to save their asses or help your team somehow for example right now this guy uh, i couldn't catch it but um yeah uh, try to do as much as possible stay back and enjoy the rides And this is how I made all this honor because usually I was going in, in, in into the battles, you know, and I was like trying my best and somebody just one shot me, two shot me. Now the only thing that I do is just support my team with a couple of attacks and whatever I can have some kind of a fair fight uh, with other opponents, I'm definitely engaging. Most of the time it's really defensive and just, you know, you just exist in there. Plus, most of, the, most of the people have absolutely full donor gear and they have no reason to farm here, they just want to fight. So you just let them <laughs> fight and you just help them wherever you can, that's all. Uh, this is not very good practice to um, sneeze in the middle of the battlefield. Uh, <laughs> I'll not make this one as a, a habit, because... Um, not very very good habit so the damage that we're like dealing to the other players it's a uh, pretty intense sometimes i mean it depends how much gear the person has of course but um i mean death knights are pretty awesome to play with there we go that, i think that was like uh, five million there all right this is one v one against uh, a warrior
Alright. <laughs> well, I was having a little bit more absorbing shield from the price, but definitely that was a good fight. And I didn't use any defensive cooldowns. So, yep. I was uh, definitely in control of the, the battle. It was cool. Alright. Here we go again. <laughs> that was not damage. That was not my damage for sure. Uh, don't get um, misled, guys. Oof. This war is going to hurt for sure. Alright. Defensive cooldowns. I don't think he's going to touch my HP at that point. For a couple of seconds, even if he's doing it. And there we go. This is the moment that you just going back. And there we go. Your teammates is going to do the job, especially at the beginning. Like, it's really important just, just to stay with your team. And th there have been so many situations that I just need to, like, uh, get out my teammate from a situation with, like, a dead grip. Because he was going to die from one warrior and I just pull it back. So the water starts uh, hitting me and I put the hunger in cold. So I can freeze him in one place and then my teammate survived, you know, this is pretty important. Okay, so there is some kind of a trick that you can be magic immune, like this guy did right now. Oof. And this is pretty much sucks, to be completely honest. I think I'm a, I might die here. Uh, no. <laughs> Let me just take one. There we go. Yeah, so this is some kind of, I don't know, magic trick they're using and they're absolutely magic immune. And it happened many, many, many times. And you're like, what? What the fuck just happened there? If you're wondering how to survive on uh 466 million it's basically every single one of your gems in, into the uh, items need to be with re resilience rating i think this is the one of the most important components for pvp at the moment because right now i have 449 damage reduction uh and that's a lot uh the original is 200 now i have 400 and this definitely make a lot a lot a lot of differences so definitely it's pretty important. One thing that everybody does, it's increase the critical damage. Well, this is super important as well. Because let me just calculate how much I have now. So right now I have 60% critical damage increase. And honestly, that's a lot. I also have two for chance to stun the target. I think this is pretty awesome because sometimes you just proc this in... Uh, moments that you're not expecting to proc them and they definitely can uh, change uh, change something you know it's it's still for one second or two seconds or whatever the duration of this stun is but definitely i proc it quite a lot of times and i'm pretty excited for it and yeah also every single enchant uh, on gear for resilience lighting i really hotly recommend it um this is pretty important as well because as i said previously resilience lighting it's pretty important component into the, into the pvp and yeah i think i cover pretty important components all right priced and one more player i think this will be annoying i'll try to deal with the paladin All right, let's start with the price. Okay. Now I need to survive because uh, the Xiaomi pretty much hurts a lot. Which means slow them, stun them, whatever I can do. I need to do it all the time. All right, let's go with the... Oof, I don't have any more defensive cooldowns, so... This would be a pretty bad idea if I continue fighting against the Pali. He puts all the, the buffs. All 
All right. The opponent is pretty close to that. There we go. I don't know if I'm doing 12 million or this is like 1 million and 2,100. I don't know how much. Oh, okay. A death knight. This will hurt definitely a lot. So I need to be really careful. Oof. Alright, I need to somehow go away from him. There we go. This turn right now that I perform on uh, the death knight definitely saved my butt. Okay. Right. There is a strategy that you can use this Gorgol thing and then you just kill it instantly to receive the HP back and there we go, I didn't die here and everything is teamwork guys at the beginning when you're low HP everything is team teamwork you have to uh, lay your shoulders on your teammates and of course help them as much as possible but Nobody think, uh, nobody expects you to do anything, it's definitely when you don't have absolutely no gear or no damage, just nothing at the beginning against uh, people with even do donor here, uh, donor gear, so try to do as much as possible, but let, let your teammates do most of the job, especially if they're like full gear and they just want to fight, like I said before. Alright, this is one of the moments that you just receive absolutely crazy amount of damage. Alright, he tried to burst me, let's put all the defensive cooldowns, but I don't think it matters. Uh, until then I'm gonna fight, so they cannot do almost no damage to me. Alright. There we go. Really important. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. So there was a like a couple of battlegrounds that I received 6k honor, for example. That was one of the really rarest ones. But uh, most of the time I was having a better like time um, so far. Probably because we've been always playing together. And I was having less like those cases when they just farm us on the graveyard. Which definitely hap happened, I mean, many times, which is normal. Because, um, it's pretty hard to balance the battlegrounds, especially if uh, not everybody have the same, uh, the same gear. Um, and sometimes it's not just due to gear, it's due to everything. Skill and all those components, but... Like, we've been having, like... Uh, 96,000 uh, HP players <laughs> who just somebody look at them at the, at the eyes and they having heart attack so this really depends how much uh, donors or how much tier 22 players you have so this is one of my favorite things to do like look at him he just sits standing there and I like whoppa <laughs> come over here there we go and this is sometimes i think every single time when i've been performing this exercise to just uh, grab them from the graveyard i think this one give me at least 5k honor so you, you guys can imagine how many times i actually did this i don't I, I don't really understand what is this immunity from the hunters there have been so many hunters that i couldn't even touch they just use some kind of a, I don't know, spell, and this they can use it every single 15 seconds or 10 seconds or I don't know what, 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 how much cooldown this immunity have, but, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty annoying. I don't know if it's this some kind of a, a, like, set spell, like you complete the whole set for the, for your class and then you just re receive some crazy, uh, crazy buff or something and the funny part here comes that 
I've been talking how that nobody playing Death Knight. <laughs> and we have at least three Death Knights in our team. Okay, two and then one more. Two more. Okay, we are like four Death Knights into the team. Like, I j the moment that I say so something like that, the opposite happens. Alright, this is another spice situation. When I just need to have distance from the enemy team. Otherwise, I'm dead. Yeah, we managed to... Actually, I managed to not die here, which is pretty good. Ooh, this guy is uh, a lot of billions. Okay. Alright, there we go. Uh, it will have moments when they just gonna hard focus you and uh, hit you for like 3 4 spells and you're dead. So yeah, stay behind the guys that has been spending a lot more time than you. And especially if they're donors, because they will take those damages and they will take hundreds of them. Uh, but you, you're gonna take 2 or 3 of those hits, especially if you're the same HP and level than me. So yeah, just advice. As you can see, we already received 3k uh, honor from this battleground, and that's pretty good. Honestly, this is more than the average that I usually calculated for a battleground. Yeah. And then you're gonna have those situations when you're just um, <laughs> begging them to kill you. So yeah. And something else, just don't forget to use this talent over here. Like I was playing, I think three episodes without Abomination Might. And damn, I missed so much damage at the early, early stages of the game. So don't do the same mistake as me. Like imagine somebody tried to escape from like four DKs. This is absolutely impossible to the simple fact that they'll grab him four times. And we don't like talk about the slow effects that they will apply to it. Oh uh, yeah, crazy. Right now uh, the, with the, the, the DK um, progression, I don't feel it like I wanted to continue to the end of it. Uh, my goal was to experience the end game PvP and to give a review for it because I think this server definitely uh, deserve a good word. Because I pretty much enjoy it so far. Like there been um, a lot of work has been putting in it, and um, uh, definitely a few is unique. And if definitely if you want to try something new and some new server or wanted to. I don't know, experience a character to level 220, uh, 200, 255 with every single one of the abilities. Uh, this is definitely the place that you can, uh, you can be. Alright, and there we go. Damage, we're not even close to be in the first places. Kills, we're not even close, but we receive one of the top honor uh, into the whole freaking dungeon. So, if you're willing to spend all this time to gather the character to level 250 uh, with, uh, with all the gear tier 22, this is the method that I would suggest to you. Stay back, 
nobody expects you to do anything because you can't do a lot and just let other people do the job because otherwise you're just gonna die and over and over again i already tried helping and stuff um against somebody who have a donor here uh, donor gear for example or tier level 22 and they just will be me with three clicks so let the people who is actually been playing this thing first try to help them as much as possible but you know value your character life because otherwise you're just gonna constantly respawning and hey just it's just stupid Alright, so against this player, actually we survived quite a lot of time, even for the gear that we have, <laughs> and I managed to put him into the half HP, which for me is super impressive. Alright, so uh, Xbred was actually inviting me into the group to receive um, level, uh, I mean tier 20, 20 uh, chest piece. Which I really appreciate it. <laughs> it definitely boosts the character quite a lot. Let's see how much HP we got. Uh, 10 million, it's a uh, 10 million, that's for sure. 